Hello everyone, I have some more satellite images for you here. These are from the commercial satellite company Maxar and show the state of some of the notable bridges around Kherson. The image on screen now shows the damage to the Antonovsky Bridge. Here, I've zoomed in on the northern section of interest so we can see that the damage is quite extensive. Many spans of the bridge are down and the pontoon crossing is destroyed too, so it's safe to say the bridge can't be used. Not that it could anyway, it was too badly weakened by high miles that it couldn't support vehicles. Zoomed in on the southern section, we can see that one of the barges is missing. It could be sunk and not visible, or it could have been removed for use in the evacuation. We can also see a barge peeking above the water, which has been sunk. I've also highlighted the damage from past high miles strikes. This next image is of the railway bridge. We can see that the destroyed section is the southern portion of the bridge. Again, it clearly now can't be used. Although, as with the Antonovsky bridge, it was too weakened before to um, support vehicles anyway, so Russia wasn't using it, nor could Ukraine use it. In this image from the Darivka bridge, we can see the destroyed bridge itself. This was previously unusable thanks to high Mars again, but was still standing. Next to it, we can see the remains of a pontoon built by Russia, now destroyed. On the right hand side, there's a large complex which Russia had been using as an ammo dump. You can see some of the buildings are gone. Given how quickly Ukraine reached Kherson, destroying this and other bridges did nothing to slow the advance. Finally, we can take a look at the Novokokovka bridge. This was Russia's main escape route along with the ferries and barges. On this image, bear in mind north is on the right hand side of the screen. Zoomed in, we can see two spans have been destroyed by Russian engineers, rendering it unusable. So all of these bridges are gone. Now, will this impact the war? Not at all. Honestly, a Ukrainian assault over the Dnipro was never going to happen. We saw how Russia failed merely to supply forces already in Kherson. There's no chance that Ukraine could get enough tanks and equipment over the Dnipro to press further east. An eastern assault from here isn't going to happen. At the most, this denies the use of the bridges by infiltrator teams. And I pointed this out in a past video, but I think it's worth repeating. The destruction of these bridges shows that Russia now has pretty much given up on Kherson. If Russia had the remotest belief that they could retake Kherson again, they would have left these bridges standing. These bridges being removed is basically saying, we give up, we're not going to be able to capture it. Before we finish, here's the bridges positions marked on a map. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everybody.